What is ADHD? In this video today, I'm gonna to share with you some of the common signs and symptoms of ADHD. I'm gonna share with you the three specific types of ADHD. Cheers, happy new year. It is New Year's Eve here in Bali, Indonesia. I am Kirsten, welcome to my channel. Let's get right into it. ADHD is a neurodevelopmental condition, which means that the people who have ADHD have structurally different and functionally different brains than those who don't have it, and it has presented from in the beginning of childhood. According to the CDC, a child with ADHD might squirm, forget things, fidget a lot, talk too much, daydream, make careless mistakes, take unnecessary risks, have a hard time resisting temptation, have a hard time getting along with others. Fun fact, adults with ADHD are 300% more likely to become entrepreneurs. And according to WebMD, people with ADHD are five to 10 times more likely to abuse alcohol. As mentioned, ADHD is a neurodevelopmental condition, which means that symptoms would have been presented before the age of 12 and they would have been presented in more than one circumstance. So that's something like at home, at school, in relationships with friends and family. In order to know if you have ADHD or not, thorough evaluation with some sort of psychiatrist or therapist would be required so that it cannot be uh, confused with other circumstances like schizophrenia or personality disorders or mood disorders, things like that. According to the DSM-5, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders, there are three types of ADHD. The first type I'll discuss is the inattentive type, and there are nine different symptoms here. In order to qualify as this diagnosis, there would need to be five or more symptoms that occur in two or more environments, like the home, school, or relationships, and over an extended period of six months, also given that some of these presented before the age of 12. Number one, difficulty staying on task. Number two, difficulty paying close attention to detail or often makes mistakes. Three, difficulty organizing tasks or activities. Four, easily distracted by external stimulation or thoughts. Five, frequently doesn't follow through on chores, work, or activities. Six, often forgets routine chores. Seven, often avoids tasks that require extended focus or concentration, like paperwork, forms, taxes. Eight, often loses or misplaces important items like keys, cell phone. Nine, doesn't appear to be listening in conversations or when spoken to directly. So if this is somebody who has it, they might space out and realize that they've been missing once they wake back up, or you might notice that somebody else seems to be disconnected, distracted, or not really there and paying attention to what you're saying. The second kind of ADHD is hyperactivity and impulsivity. Now again here, there needs to be five or more of these symptoms that need to be persisted over six months, and some of them would have presented under the age of 12. And just like with the inattentive type, for both types, there needs to be a direct negative impact on social or or occupational or educational activities. Number one, often fidgets in seats, taps hands, taps feet, squirms around. Two, often leaves the seat when they are expected to stay in the seat. So this might be like if it is a child, uh, when they're supposed to stay in class, they get up or bounce around the room. Three, unable to play or participate in leisurely activities quietly. Four, often on the go as if driven by a motor. Five, often talks excessively. Six, often blurts out the answer, interrupts the person who's asking the question or cuts somebody off and talks over somebody in the middle of somebody else speaking. This also might be finishing somebody's sentences. Seven, often has trouble waiting their turn, for example, while in line. Eight, often interrupts or intrudes on others. And the third type of ADHD is combined, and this is the most prevalent kind. So a combination of the inattentive and of the hyperactivity and impulsivity. Well, guys, I hope you found this as enlightening as I do. And if you wanna know a little bit more about my story, you can check out what the video I posted last week about um, my greatest epiphany that I've ever had in my entire life, which is not an exaggeration about ADHD. Thanks for watching and I wish you the best in 2021 party people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>